you know, we tend to think that we can control things. And it was some great philosopher who said control is just an illusion anyway. But sometimes I, I know that things are just out of our control. So this patient today, I think when she explained why it had been over a year since she'd been in for foot care, I think she expected that I was going to chastise her. And what would be the point? So, you know, life gets in the way sometimes and we have things we gotta take care of. And um, so this is a nice video with a nice lady who it's just been over a year since she's been there. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. So what's kept you awake for 14 months? Uh, the first round when I went to sign up, I hadn't paid my copay. And so I got bumped out. And then I, then I finally paid my copays, but then I went up to the lake. For a couple months actually okay and I'd scheduled something in August and then I decided to stay at the lake so ah. uh, then I couldn't reschedule till till now you know, how many hours away is your lake home it's um, four hours okay it's, it's a trek yeah and I I am um, I had planned to come down for a number of appointments and then uh, because I brought my cats up, um, I didn't want to leave the cats there um, with my sister. So mm -hmm. then I just and they were they're kind of hard to transport. So just bad planning, basically. <laughs> well, you're here, so yeah. We'll get these all trimmed and get you feeling better. Go home a pound or two lighter. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could get it rid of it somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> I fell twice this year. Okay. Uh, I see you have a cane with you now. Yeah, I pretty much have to use it all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm at the point where I'm having more trouble. Like I can't get into the sh bathtub for a shower. Oh. Um, so I have to start looking at making some adjustments there. I don't really want to move yet. Oh, like those walk-in bath things? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe just bars and... Okay. I mean, I can, I can wash, but it's hard. I can't stand very long. And I have trouble getting in and out of the tub because of my left leg. Okay. And I have had problems with my left side, but after I fell, the first time I fell, I fell off a stage. Oh, a two-step stage, and I fell hard. Yeah, and I and I had a big bruise. I mean, it's still kind of black and blue, and that was like March. Were you just not looking where you were going, or did you black <laughs> I was blue? not looking where I was going. It was right when the war in the Ukraine had started, uh -huh. and they were mounting a flag, and I was looking at the flag and talking to someone, and I took a step. I don't know why. I just, you know, stepped backward or something, and I missed the two steps and went down very hard right before the concert. In fact, I, um, I played the concert, but I could tell I really bumped my knee. Yeah. And when I got home, I found out that I had bled because I cut my knee, and I didn't even, I kind of felt that something was going on. But, and then the second time, I just fell at home. Mm -hmm. um, my knees gave up, gave out. So, huh? Well, I'm sorry. It sounds like it hasn't. I mean, being up at the lake for six months is nice. Yeah, that was nice. But it could be worse. My sister's getting a new a heart valve at the end of January, so. So what you're saying is it could be worse because 
you don't need a heart valve. Right. Got it. Yeah. Is she here? No, um, she's up in uh, Virginia, Minnesota. Which is how many hours? Uh, that's about the same as going to the lake. Okay. About four hours. Um, and she, she'll get her work done in Duluth. Okay. But of course, the kicker up there is you hope that the weather holds out for getting to the hospital. Because it's about, I think it's an hour and a half maybe from Virginia to Duluth. Well, and if it looks like it might be bad, she can go the day before. Yeah, well, she yeah. is planning on going early and taking a room. Okay. Hotel room. Yeah. But I'm not going to go up. And I normally I would. If it were in the summer, I'd probably go, but... So, anybody going to be there with her? Does she have Her son. Okay. She's got a 40-year-old son. Okay. So she won't be alone. No. So. But of course they're hoping to do it uh, not open. They're hoping not to have it open her chest. Right. I can't remember what the they put a like a guide wire in through the yeah artery. right yep. through the leg actually. Mm -hmm. My brother had that done. Yeah. Um, but. She's got such bad back curvature, she can't lay flat. Oh. And so they're going to have to sedate her and, uh, you know, it's very uncomfortable for her to have anything done. Well, she'd have to be sedated for that anyway. Yeah, right. Um, but they'll have a they'll have an open heart surgeon there. Just in case. Just in case. Good. And we're hoping that they said her, her valves or arteries were good in her legs. Mm -hmm. She had all that done. Is that an angiogram that they do? Yep. So she's probably got better, less plaque in her legs than I probably have. Yeah. But you know, both she and I neglected our health because our ba my brother was so bad, and then my mother was so bad. So we both put off all sorts of work for ourselves. Well, and that's why you gotta tell caregivers that um, you have to take care, take of, care yourself. of yourself. Yeah. Because if you don't, you can't be there for your family members. Yeah, that's very true.
Wow. That's really ticklish. See if we can get the rest of the nails on this foot, and then I can come back with an emery board. Okay. That one. No, that's not going to stop it. It wants to move. Well, at least I have some nerves down there. Yeah. Okay. See if we can smooth this out this way. Never had that happen before. Yeah. You know, most people I find have like one toe that causes them to jump uh -huh. like that. I shouldn't say most, often. Oftentimes. Now, can you reach down here to get lotion on your feet? It's challenging. Okay. Um, my sister said I should buy, they've got these extender things with pads. That might make it easier, but... Well, or do you have one of those grabbers to get stuff off of high shelves? I do. So if you take like a piece of sponge or paper towel or something and put the lotion on there, you can get it on the top of this foot and rub that foot with the bottom of the other foot. Okay. That would be a way to do it. Yeah, that's an idea. Um, yeah, because your skin is really dry here. Yeah. Well, I didn't, I, I did wash good this morning and I didn't put lotion on it because I thought that might make it more slippery, so. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. I do have a question. Yes. When I was in last, you gave me something, you called it a toe condom? Oh, to little, put on my big toe. Little gel toe cap to yeah, keep and, these two apart. Yeah, and I'm wondering if you have one that I could put on that fourth toe. On this toe? Yeah, because you can see it uh, it cuts into the other one. Yeah. So a little the little cap to go over that toe. Yeah. Okay. Because what I was using was that, what do you call the stretchable bandage? Ace? Like, like an ace bandage? No, it's, it's um, it's oh. it's elastic -y. like they put it on. Oh, you Coban. Yeah, yeah, Coban, that's Coban. it. Yeah. I was trying to wrap that around, okay. but that was kind of hard to do. Yep, we can get you one of those. Okay. So, all right, so let's make your next appointment for about two and a half months. Okay. Given that this was 14, I think two and a half should be good. All right, well, thank you for letting us do the video. Okay.